Hello everyone, welcome to Tricks for Maths. We are continuing learning Vedic mathematical tricks and techniques to solve mathematical problems. In this video, you are learning some special tricks to solve division problem. As you know, there are special techniques as well as general techniques will be in Vedic mathematics. Yes, so for division, we use Nikhilam Sutra, Paravartya Sutra, Anurupena Sutra, as well as Ekadikena Purvena Sutra for special numbers and also for general numbers that means for any number you will use direct flag method as well as Vestanas. In this video you are learning division for any number using Nikhilam Sutra. Before going to a particular problem we will discuss the general terms what we use in division. Let me take any example 27 divided by 3. Yes, how will you divide this using usual method? Yes, it is 3 nines are, it is 27. So, our reminder is 0, right? So, we call this reminder and this is our quotient here, right? And this is divisor, yes, and this is dividend, right? So, we know some basic terms regarding our division. We will use the same thing in our steps also. So, let us go for a particular problem which involves divisor near to the base 10. That means here I am taking any number dividing by 9, 7, single digit numbers I am taking. Here 2 digits 89 and 89 and 993, 991. Okay, that means you are observing that all divisors are near to the base 10. What do you mean by base 10? Yes, that may, it may be 10 or 100 or 1000. So, these two are near to 10. Yes, these two are near to? Yes, it is 100. Now, these two are 1000. So, if you are given with this type of problem, how will you divide using Nikhilam Sutram? So, let us go for the first problem. I am taking now 114 divided by 9. So, I will write like this. A standing line. Okay, we go for sleeping line and one more standing line. See here, you are observing the divisor 9. Okay, that is it is nothing but it is nearer to 10. Right? So, how many zeros are there? 1 0. That means it is a single digit number I am taking here. So, for that, in order to write this dividend, I will write like this 1, 1, 4. Okay. I am just separating this because this unit place goes for reminder. Okay. After completion of the problem, you will get a reminder on this place. Okay. So, I am separating this using these lines. And I will write 9 here, our divisor. Okay. Now, we need to make a group. Okay. Because it is having a single divisor. So, I am making a group of single digits. Okay. These are the steps. Now, the first step to start the problem, we need to find out the complement for the divisor. What is the complement for the divisor? Yes, we know. What is complement? 10 minus the given number in base of 10 or 100 minus the given number that means in case of 100 or if you take 1000, 1000 minus the given number. So, here the complement is 1. I will write 1 like this. Okay, this is complement, this is a divisor. Now, the first step, write this one, okay, the first term as it is in your quotient part. Okay, this is the quotient part. I will write Q here. So, 1 as it is. Then, you will multiply this one with the complement. Okay, multiply this quotient, first quotient with the complement. 1, 1 is a 1. Now, the second step, you need to add this. You need to add these two. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, now you got one more digit in the quotient. Again, 2 multiplied by the complement. 
after adding you need to again multiply the quotient the last digit with the complement this steps repeats okay so we added 1 plus 1 we have written 2 again 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 2 i will write here now 4 plus 2 i need to do that is 6 there is no more any digit so i should stop here now i got the quotient as well as reminder I need not to continue because the divisor is bigger here. It is 6. Is the reminder is smaller? So I can stop, right? So 6 is the reminder and this 12 is the quotient. I hope you got the steps and you find it very easy. I will explain once again. See, you have written number like this. 114 is our dividend and you, you drawn one standing line to make it separation for the reminder okay the last unit will be in the reminder place the last group why i have made groups of ones because we are considering a single digit divisor okay that means it is nearer to 10 there is one zero in 10 so we are making a group of ones okay and you need to find the complement for the divisor that is one here okay now you will write the first group as it is then you will multiply this with the complement you will write here okay below the second group you will add you will find the very next digit of the quotient you will multiply this to the with the complement and again you will write with the other group you will add you will get the answer okay so multiplying and addition multiplying and addition if you go on doing like this you will get the answer you need to continue the steps till you get the reminder which is lesser than the divisor so our quotient is 12 here and our reminder is 6 here okay let us go for one more question here i am taking 267 divided by 7 you are observing it is also a single digit divisor. So how I will write 2, 6. Just I will give a gap for 7 because I need to write uh, draw a line. Okay. And also this 7 is belongs to one group. 6 belongs to one group and 2 belongs to because there is only one zero in base 10. Okay. Because it is nearer to 10. So, I am making a group of 1s and our divisor is 7. I need to now find the complement. What is the complement here? It is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. Now, the first step is I need to write 2 as it is the first group. And then I multiply 2 with the complement 3. 2 3s are 6. 6 minus sorry 6 plus 6 is 12. I will write 12 here yes let us see what will happen okay just i will draw a line okay now 12 threes are it is 36 i will write 36 here now i need to add these two 7 and 36 that is 43 right so i will write 43 is our problem over no because divisor is 7 and reminder is 43 it is more i can deduct some times of 7 from 43 yes 7 6 is 42 right so 6 goes to quotient part right 7 6 so i will write 6 in the quotient part okay and if i deduct that 42 from 43 what will remain yes 1 so our actual reminder is 1 here okay reminder is 1 and now what is the quotient Yes, 12 plus 6 is or you can do right like this. 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, our final quotient and 2 plus 1 is 3. 38 is the quotient and 1 is the reminder. Okay, so like this you can divide using a number and the divisor which is nearer to 10 using Nikhilam Sutra. Now we will go for a divisor which is having two digits as well as three digits please don't skip the video and learn how to solve the questions here is one more question 
2163 divided by 89 okay so now how will you group how will you write these numbers okay 2163 okay 63 is divided by 89 okay now i need to make a group of twos here okay why it is nearer to 100 there are two zeros so i should make a group of two it is first group this is second group okay so after uh, before one first group from the right hand side i need to put a line because it goes to reminder part okay now i need to find out the complement for 89 that is 100 minus 89 in this case yes it is 11 okay so the first step is we need to write the first group as it is 21 as it is and now 21 multiplied by 11 we need to write here so what is 21 multiplied by 11 i hope you have watched my video regarding multiplication with the series of 1 so it is very easy to find out 21 multiplied by 11 how will you write you will write 1 as it is and you will add 2 plus 1 is 3 and you will write this to as it is so 231 is the answer so below this 63 you are going to write 231 okay now you will add 63 and 231 so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 6 plus 3 is 9 and 2 as it is so 294 is the reminder am i right no because it is more than 89 the divisor so 89 can be taken out from 294 many times that means we need to go for division 294 by 89 or simply you can guess which number you can take so 8 ones are 8 twos are you can or 89 you can take like 90 okay so 9 ones are 9 twos are is 180 9 threes are is 270 right so i can take 3 i will guess it okay so 3 i will take as my quotient 3 9s are 27 okay and 3 8s are is 24 plus 2 is 26 so this is 7 again 8 minus 6 is 2 27 will be my exact reminder please note that this is our reminder 3 times we have taken out 89 okay so i should add this to our previous quotient right 21 plus 3 is 24 so quotient is 24 and the reminder is 27 because 27 is less than 89 yes if you are given with a two digit number in the divisor also it may be a bigger number four digit or five digit or six digit you can continue the same steps you will get the exact answer here is one more question we have taken five digit number and we are dividing that by two digit number but we can consider it as 92 because in the previous example we have taken 89 itself so i am dividing the whole number by 92 okay so how will you write 5 2 1 6 3 okay and 92 as a divisor okay but now we should make our group of two digits right yes now i can put a standing line here because before the last group we need to put a line it goes to reminder right now i need to find the complement for 92 my next step is finding the complement what is the complement here it is 8 100 minus 92 is it okay so my first step is write 5 as it is because it's our first group now 8 5s are we need to do it is 40 40 plus 21 61 okay i will write like this okay just i will put one line here now 61 multiplied by 8 we need to do okay 8 ones are 8 then 8 6 are 48 okay now we need to add these two it is 11 okay then it is 15 1 5 551 is the answer but 92 is smaller right 
we can go for division as 551 divided by 92 or you can go for guessing like 92 how much are you will give 5 sorry you will get 551 we can guess that I can go for 6 I am thinking like that if I take 6 6 2 is 12 okay and 9 6 is 54 plus 1 55 one more number okay so I will consider it as 5 okay I, 5 2 is 10 okay then 5 9 is 45 plus 1 it is 46 okay now I can easily subtract okay 15 minus 6 is 9 okay 91 is the actual reminder and now I need to write 5 here write 5 6 as it is so 566 is our quotient and 91 is the reminder we are here with one more problem in this problem we are observing the divisor is near to 1000 right so how will you write 3416 divided by 993 here the complement is 7 and how will you group this yes 3 3 digits right yes now this belongs to the this belongs to reminder now the first step is writing 3 as it is now 3 7 3 is 21 617 213 4 437 is lesser than 993 so here is the actual reminder and this 3 is the quotient for this question very easily we can do and the last problem what we have taken is 58416 divided by 991 here the quotient is 9 okay now we are grouping like taking 3 3 digits right okay so this part goes to reminder our first step is writing 5 as it is now multiply it 9 by 5 okay it is 5 9 size is 45 now we need to add it is 11 okay then 6 4 461 is lesser than 991 so this is the reminder and this is the quotient for the question i hope you have found this technique very useful and very easy also please use this technique in these many problems we have taken the divisor which is less than just less than the base 10 that means below 10 below 100 and below 1000 and so on so in our coming videos we will take when it will be the divisor will be more than base 10 that means 112 or 125 like that and also we will discuss if the divisor is any other number okay how we will solve division we will learn for that please subscribe my channel to get all of my videos and my videos are available in Kannada version also please share with your friends and like my video support me i'll meet you in the next video with the more information till then take care bye bye